Well, hello everyone, my name is Prime, and welcome back to another episode of ATS Showcases. Welcome to 1.44 Open Beta, my friends. This is an amazing update here for American Truck Simulator, and if you can't tell already, I'm here in my Freightliner Cascadia, uh, which I have updated the interior, which I'll get to in just a second, and we're hauling lumber here with our beautiful drop deck trailer. I love these drop deck trailers, and we're here in Truckee, and we're going to head up to Reading. Not too long of a journey, but this area has all been reworked all across here in uh, basically this belt here between uh, Truckee, Sacramento, uh, Ukiah, Eure Eureka, sorry, and Redding. I don't know why I struggled to say that. There have been a little bits that haven't really been updated quite yet, uh, but you know what? That's the way it is. As for the interior of this Freightliner Cascadia, a lot of you guys will recognize this interior. This is the, well, I guess, as up until now, latest update to this interior, which is the Elite Gray 2020 or the Elite Tan 2020. Now we have the Saddle Tan 2022 and the Slate Gray 2022 option. So if we switch to that... We now get some beautiful tables and some really, really nice subtle updates, but uh, overall really tasteful. So today's video, you'll see a lot of the slate gray. As for the drop deck trailers, well, there are quite a few options for this puppy, mainly when it comes to the, uh, well, I guess kind of revolving around the type. So you can have the standard drop deck, which uses wooden planks, stuff like that, the aluminum, and of course the sliding tarp. We'll put it back to aluminum just so we can see some of the different chassis configurations easier. Then we go to the chassis. You have a bunch of different options here uh, for the wheelbase. So we'll spin around here and go through some of them. I am today using, of course, the maxed out version here on the 50 foot, uh, 53 footer, sorry, with the four axles. Paint jobs, you've got your standard few colors here that you can choose. And of course, you can do your custom colors. And then as for the accessories, currently in the beta, I have noticed that the tires are not compatible with the Goodyear DLC yet, quite yet. I'm going to assume that will update for the final launch. But as for that, you could actually add in aluminum or a steel wall at the front. You can do your side skirts when it comes, or I guess, I should say chrome box and you can also do your lighting and at the back you have your option of standard exclusive and of course your banners you can put a strobe on the back and all that good stuff so without further ado let's get this freightliner started up and get on the road I am just using standard ATS sounds today no mods of course because this is my first look here on update 1.44 open beta here on ATS hopefully everyone is doing well I certainly am I am very very excited to be checking out this open beta here on ATS if you haven't seen my ETS 2 version go check that out because it was really nice to be able to uh, get to know that uh, version or get uh, get to know some of the features that are even the same here in ATS so we're going to make our way around here kind of snake our way out of this uh industrial complex of Truckee. what i did notice on the map which when i came here was quite uh freaky to be honest of how sprawling Truckee is now it's much more than just your well i guess in the old version of ats the, the original map it was a lot more condensed on what you could really do there wasn't too many options for economy around here but it is now a full-blown uh, hustling bustling town which is really quite nice uh, to drive through so we'll make sure we stop at the stop sign properly uh hey did, did the ai not know proper stop sign rules i'm gonna hope they do because that is my right away now all right, so let's talk a little bit here about 1.44 here on ATS. Well, we've got quite a few things. Uh, well, I've quite a few that I've already showcased already. So, of course, this interior update for the Freightliner Cascadias. We have the adjustable suspension, which for some reason you could just put like a nosedive on this thing or do a full-on squat situation, uh, which would be, or like have it stance. That would be kind of pretty funny, but we'll reset it for the sake of uh, realism there. Let's go ahead and move through this light because we're just talking aimlessly here and holding up the traffic behind us we've also got of course the drop deck trailers which we've already seen and are loving we also now have more special transport something that is great to see we always like those special transports i was really torn to be honest between what kind of delivery i do today but ultimately i had to do the drop deck trailer it's something a lot of us have been waiting for and i couldn't pass up the opportunity to use it so we will be doing a special transport here along one of those new routes very very soon we've also had some other updates when it comes to i guess you could say the operation side of ats mainly when it comes to the mod situation there we do have a new mod re refund feature and a few other uh, little 
additions that are quite nice when it comes to some settings. Uh, some, those which I really won't use. We have also had the force feedback uh, update, which I guess I am feeling a little bit now, and I have to say it is uh, a, a lot more realistic. I will give it that much. And I do apologize, I'm going to say it right now, if the video is slightly more chopped up, I've had a little bit of an issue here for some reason today. I don't know if it's... Oh, got, wrong lane. Um, I don't know if it's an issue. I don't think it's with 1.44, but I am having some major stuttering issues. So if it is chopped up or whatever it is, please excuse that. That hopefully won't transfer very long uh, into this video. Hopefully it's only at the earlier stages. But let's get on the highway here and explore this beautiful area here of the California rework phase two. It's great to have it here in ATS now. And my word, am I happy to finally be able to be on the highway, or, uh, highway here driving. Just look at that scenery, folks. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff indeed. Did that auto center on me? I didn't think I hit the button back, but oh well. Whatever game, probably did, just a sensitive button and I didn't even know it. Now I have to say this interior of the Freightliner, really you can't notice uh, too much of a difference unless if you turn around and see the table there. Um, but you know what, it is it is quite nice to have. I do really love the Freightliner Cascadias. And I think it pairs well with, oh, come on, go go ahead to cinematic cam there, game. Thank you very much. It does pair well, I, th I have to say, with this drop deck trailer. Man, this Freightliner is struggling up this hill. How heavy is the lumber we're hauling today? 36,000 pounds. Well, that is definitely a heavy load, so I will excuse it for that. Hopefully, we're going down the hill more. I guess I kind of forgot that this is, generally speaking, a hilly area. Well, no duh, Prime. You look at the hills there, and you see quite a few trees and hills. So, well, <laughs> you'd assume the highway will do the same, which I guess it is. Uh, but hopefully, we get to see some more unique things. Uh, but overall, the quality is absolutely amazing around here i am loving every second uh, of driving through here and i mean this is my first look so things may not be perfect when it comes to uh whoa we got brakes 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 oh i just saw the cars in the cinematic cam and i couldn't change back good brakes on this freightliner that is good to know like i was gonna say before i got rudely interrupted by the heavy braking procedure i just had to pull off you will you may notice some weird things like my camera getting stuck over there. I don't. I, I think I've got some weird buttons happening today. My PC is imploding on me this recording session. How lovely. A few things that may not be perfect. Just keep that in mind. I do not know if it's... Uh, I'm going to assume it's my PC that's acting, acting up right now. Not the game itself. But keep that in mind. There may be some things you see across the update. Both in ATS2 and ATS that aren't quite right. They're just... Sometimes with these betas, there are little quirks that obviously can't be figured out until it goes out to the masses and different machines and all that stuff, uh, different grades and levels of machines, I guess, when it comes to performance, that you'll notice some of these uh, little hiccups, I guess you could say. So there is a dedicated uh, spot on the SES software forums that you can report some of the bugs if you so choose to. If you're like me, often I don't even have to because other people have already reported them or they're fixed before I even notice them to be honest so that is always really really quite nice and keep in mind folks this is all free as well all this you're seeing all these uh, all these upgrades to the games all the new features whether it's the performance or it's the various map additions or graphics it doesn't matter details Everything you see is free for any owner of ATS, which is absolutely amazing. Same goes for ETS2. I believe I said that in that video as well. And it is just really, really nice, uh, like I said, to give this a try. Now, some of you may not want to opt in, which I completely agree with. And my computer is having major hiccups today. By the way, this is going to be a very fun video to edit, may I just say. Now, let's see if I can go down this hill without having to rear end the car. I think, oh, it went back inside for me. Engine brake time, is that going to be enough to keep me out of the back of this red sedan? Or I guess that's an SUV, not a sedan. I think it will be. My word, the Freightliner engine brake is pretty powerful. I will give it that much. It's holding back a lot of weight, but I will have to use the brakes just a little bit there. So then we don't rear end that family, because that is never a good thing for insurance. Oh, I like the, I, I like the uh, markers there on the uh, highway itself, the painted uh, interstate markers. That is quite nice. Oh, look at them here. Nice additions there, SES Software. I quite like that. Quite like that indeed. 
We gotta make a right over here. I guess we have to stay in the right hand lane. Yes, we do. Head towards Redding. That is correct. It is nice to be back here in California. I do miss being over here in California. For those who, of course, have had a game, had the game for quite a while, you probably got sick of California, to be honest, for a little bit. Maybe not, uh, but I'm going to speak from personal experience. Um, before I got a lot of the expansions, um, I was really just running California, Arizona, and Nevada, and... Well, well, no duh, I guess that's a kind of given considering what the base game was. But I, I'm going to be honest, I get tired after a while just constantly going between a few of the key hubs, mainly being Redding and then even into Sacramento and then L uh, Los Angeles and stuff like that and then down into like San Diego at, at, in the southern end. Really, you had limited choices, but now the economy is so much more diverse, at least in the northern section so far. Uh, and of course, as the various phases come in for the California rework, we will get more and more additions. We're also going to be getting a new city in phase three, which is great. Let me know what you guys think will actually be coming in. It'd be nice to know what city do you guys think will be coming in in phase three SES software has said it will be something that is more significant to the in-game economy. And of course, well, just more more significant in real life, to be honest. San Rafael is definitely a great place, and it was a nice fit place to have on the ATS map. But I think a bigger city, or one that's more, uh, well, ultimately crucial to the economy of California, will most likely be better for the game itself. And it just, of course, a new city is always nice to have. Now, this, to be honest, looks a little bit more similar to what it used to be, uh, but... I guess in all honesty, it's kind of hard to shake up a highway or an interstate like this. There's only so many things and so many details you can change. This definitely has been reworked because it, I, the whole area has been reworked. But it, there are some areas that definitely look more, I guess, similar to what it was before. But I guess it has to look similar to what it is before in some degree. Because if not, it would be a complete different geographical area. But it's not the same area. Uh, but... You can see the differences mainly in the details. Now we must be getting close to Redding here because I do know uh, we are going to be actually pulling off just before because we have to go and use a bit of a side road to actually get to our delivery point. So we must be getting close and I do believe we are exiting right here. Yes, we are according to our handy dandy GPS. Uh, so why don't we go ahead, put on the indicator, follow the Jeep up the off ramp and head up here. So some of this has not been redone by the looks of it. It's either that or the, uh, it's just kept the, I guess, discoverability. I do not know how the game works with that. There is a good chance that it just kept the discoverability and didn't, um, it didn't update that properly. Uh, but nonetheless, we're heading left. So definitely into the updates, new territory anyways. And so let's see what it has in store over here. Head over the highway. Yeah, it's nice just to have more detail in the surrounding area. I'm not going to lie. It's just, it just makes it all feel a little bit more fit together, I guess. And it's not so much just cookie cutter. I think that's something a lot of us found in California and something that SEO Software has more or less just admitted to recently. Uh, that California definitely was great for its time, but it definitely needed an update. And it's been getting that, obviously, with these phases. And this area especially just... It just needs something extra. It just needs those details that really actually that really bring the area alive. Oh, we got a vineyard, don't we? Cool stuff. What kind of vineyard would that be? Would that that can't that's not grapes. Uh, would that be like an apple or orange kind of vineyard situation? Or I guess it wouldn't be a vineyard, but an orchard. I guess that's more of what it is. Not not really a vineyard. Let me know for all those experts who are in California or just anyone who has more of an idea about orchards and vineyards than I do. I guess it's a four-way stop. It sure is. I guess I think it said it actually on the sign. Should have paid attention, but I did not in all honesty. So let's go ahead and down here. This is definitely different than what it was before. I'm going to give you that. And I like the fact that you actually have these bit of a turning lane situation at the intersections too. Very much more realistic than just a constant dedicated four lane one lane each way uh, situation i do like that indeed let's head down here through the valley i guess we're we're technically in napa valley aren't we i guess talking about that if we look at the map here and yes we are getting close to our delivery 
I believe this is the Napa Valley area. Am I correct in that? I know you guys will roast me in the comments if I am completely wrong. Let me know. I, as far as I know, this is the Napa Valley. I'm not great uh, with the area in uh, some of these U.S. geography areas, obviously, because I'm Canadian. I, I know a decent amount, but not the specific sometimes. And Unless if it specifically said, I don't always know. So hopefully you guys can let me know, which I know you guys can because you guys are amazing at correcting me at times, which is always great. We're snaking our way through here, which is always good. I'm going to be honest, um, this whole recording thing is getting annoying. I think it's smoothed out a little bit better now. I mean, obviously, you guys will be able to tell depending on how many just jump cuts there are. But this has just kind of been a little bit of annoying. I don't... There was a bit of a Windows update that happened on my PC just before recording this, and I don't know if it's still... if it was still trying to install or whatever, but, I mean, I've never really had too many impacts by Windows updates, I don't think. But occasionally, I think my little GTX 1650 uh, will just decide, I'm not going to record and play the game today. I'm going to just freak out a little bit. So, freaking out, I think it did. And, I mean, it's looking pretty smooth now, which is always good. Uh, but hopefully it's bearable for you guys. And I'm, I, I do apologize uh, if I had to do more of the jump cut. I generally like to keep it pretty smooth throughout the episode. Uh, but some days, whether it's just my voice or the computer, and today it was the latter, uh, it often will cause issues. So that's the way it is. And we've got a turn signal ahead by the looks of the signs on the road and what look appearing in the distance. Yes, I have eyes, believe it or not. Yeah, I know our customer expects the delivery soon game. Ah, oh, man, that's what. It's totally not what happens when you. I don't know use the command console and change the time of day so then you can do a delivery during the day to experience the beautiful beautiful views of the updated map instead of just trees um instead of you know uh, i don't know darkness <laughs> pretty pretty simple there to be honest i i like to do these first looks during the day so that you guys can actually see well, the content itself a lot easier without um, just being in the dark. There's uh, some people's monitors, including mine that I actually play the game on, uh, don't show darkness very well. They don't. The blacks aren't very great, and there's not much definition within it. So I try to do it during the day for most of my episodes, so that no matter what kind of panel you have, you should be able to see at least some form of detail uh, within it. Now, depending on the quality you run, you know that's to each their own, I guess, but. Generally speaking, I try to keep it during the day so then at least brightness, it's easier for people to see and the panel type doesn't necessarily uh, determine, you know, how well you see the, the bright stuff. You can still see details no matter what. Obviously, higher quality and higher resolutions will do, serve you better, but overall, I just try, try to keep it during the day so it's easier easier in general to move, uh, kind of, well, I guess move around, but... For me, especially so that I don't crash so much, but it's it's just easier for everyone uh, all, all in, so that's why I do it. But let's pull into here and hopefully get this video up to you guys as soon as possible. Hopefully this is the Saturday episode, but to be honest with YouTube and the amount I'm going to have to edit in this video, uh, we'll see. If you're watching this any other day, well, hopefully you're having a good day. Let's see where we have to park this thing. Ah, oh, you know what? I'm not going to put the flashers on. I, ha I thought maybe I'd do it for a second for realism, but I'm not going to listen to it today. So let's spin our way around here and park this beast of a unit and let them unload the lumber in which they ordered. Uh, I think we'll do something like that. And we're going to try and bring her back into the spot there. Oh, it's actually a steerable axle. How oh, neat, didn't know that. Cool stuff. Always like learning something new with that. So let's just pull this forward just slightly here. And reverse it into the spot. Lovely stuff. Alright. Try not to butcher it, which I think I've already done. Oh no, so saved it. Saved it, that's always good. I'm just wig wig wigwagging my way. Wigwagging? Zigzagging, that's the word. Don't, what's a wigwag? No idea. Zigzagging my way back into the spot, but that'll do. That will do just fine. So I think I put the parking brake on. I sure did. Let's shut off the truck and go to the outside and say thank you guys so much for watching. 
what an amazing update. You're going to see a lot of content from me. I know today was definitely a rough episode. I apologize for that. Some things I can't control. Some things I can just, you know, power reset and kick. <laughs> this is about as much as I can do sometimes. But nonetheless, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.